，係歡迎各位又嚟到家國生活每逢晚上十一點至十二點喺 FM 一零五點九廣播。直播室有五位人兄，包括我 Alex 少啦，有 Jeff、Tim 啊、財經顧問或者我哋數據王啦 ，Michael 姐我哋個 program host 啦，今日嘅 host 啦 ，Alan Ho 啊，你誒社區最誒熟悉嘅 Markham Councilor， 咁仲仲有大多士華商會誒統籌阿 Ben 梁萬邦。咁一開始之前咧，我哋今日咧就環繞住咧就係誒 Marrying 嘅訪問，咁所以咧我就想去一去嗰、那個係一個 video 先啊，咁啊等大家可以誒。播室咧有幾位嘉賓啊，包括誒誒 Honourable Mary Ng， 佢係誒我哋康山嘅 Federal 誒 MP， 即係國會議員。佢亦都係 Minister of International Trade， 亦都係 Minister of Small Business 同埋 Export Promotion。誒，另另外兩位嘉賓咧，又包括阿 Ben Lang 啊、梁萬邦啊，係 GTA 或者多大多倫多華商會嘅統籌啦。喺另外一位嘉賓就 Pius Chan 咧，佢係 Vancouver 嘅 Federation of Commerce of Canada 嘅 National Chair。咁啊 ，Ben 誒，我哋今日嚟訪問阿 Mary， 咁你可唔可以高興？ Mary， 歡迎你參加我哋今日嘅節目，好榮幸你能夠撥時間俾我哋，或者你同我哋嘅聽眾新年時候講幾句好嘅説話先好唔好？好好 ，Ben 啊，今日好開心可以誒同你見面，誒大家新年快樂，誒 to everybody Happy New Year，Happy New Year， 誒健康，最緊要健康啊！我哋大家開開心心，身體健康。有冇乜嘢補充先？如果唔係，我哋就可以開始。我哋開始啦，或者嚇嚇。係啦，其實咧，嗯，聯邦政府咧喺舊年三月份咧係好英明地、好快速咧，就做咗好多決定。當疫情咧出現咗之後咧，咁啊推出咗好多好多唔同嘅項目出嚟，無論係企誒誒大型商業、小型嘅商業或者個人都好咧，都有好多幫忙我哋。最近而家繼續延續緊咧，就仲有一個 C 一。啊、um, ，W S 即係工資嘅補貼啦，同埋一個 C R S 追加嘅補貼。但係我想知道咧，啊，個疫情一直一直咁樣啦，都仲係延續落去啦。我唔知聯邦政府喺啊一個咁大嘅開支之下，如果呢幾樣嘅幫助都幫唔到我哋小型嘅企業，啊，聯邦政府就冇乜嘢啊 ，any other program that can assist small business to recover because this pandemic is prolonged for a while already. So, yeah. I just see Minister give some idea for us. Yeah, Ben, that's a very, very important question, especially for you and Pius. I mean, representing so many Canadian businesses and Canadian Chinese-owned businesses,、uh, right from the very beginning, the government was very clear: we were going to do whatever it took to support Canadians and our businesses through this.、Uh, we there is light at the end of the tunnel. We are going to see an end to COVID-19. There will be, and there are,、uh, vaccines that are getting rolled out across Canada. But in the meantime, it is really important that our businesses continue to get the support that they need. And you already talked about them. I mean, I talk to businesses across the country all the time, and、uh, and and when we heard from businesses right at the very beginning, and you know, for me as well, I also was thinking as the small business minister. I mean, for me, growing up here.、Um, In a small business, my own parents' small business. I thought to myself, "My goodness, what would this, what would have happened to my own family at 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 that time had this hit?" And there are some very, you know, so our programs are, you know, are in on the one hand、um, comprehensive, but they boil down to this for small businesses: help you with your payroll so that you can keep your people employed, so that you're not laying off your people as best as you can. Helping with that liquidity support, with lending support, so that if you've got to, some working capital that you need, or just managing your expenses, so through small business loans, but also larger loans,、um, we just announced in the fall economic statement that we are going to be putting out、uh, low interest loans, a hundred percent guaranteed by the federal government, loans of up to a million dollars for those businesses that need it. And then the last thing is fixed. Cost support, and particularly in rent. I mean, think about all of our communities. When you walk down the street right now, people are our businesses are closed. Certainly here in the Greater Toronto Area, because and thank you to the businesses because they're doing everything they can to keep people safe by closing their doors. But they are hard hit. So making sure that they get some money to pay for the rent. So our lockdown support for some businesses who are experiencing significant decline. Uh, they can get their rent paid up to ninety percent. So lockdown support, 
fixed cost support in that rent rent um, uh, wage subsidy to help keep your pay po- people on payroll and some liquidity support in loans. Those is then the big category of the work that we've continued to do. But I continue to meet with organizations like yours, with chambers, with business organizations, with businesses directly. And I have a very, you know, I keep my ear close to the ground listening to what businesses need. The point about these programs is to bridge us until we get to the other side of COVID-19. It's to give our businesses that lifeline. It's that lifeline of support to, you know, beyond COVID-19. And that's the that's what our government uh, set out to do. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Yeah, I, I think also, uh, go ahead, um, I will. 我想你要聽一聽先,大家有沒有一些feedback簡單想講的一樣東西 一些emergency 如果疫情一直下去如果真的頂不住的時候沒有亂沒有直接答導但你們有什麼意見或反映出來呢 我們是處於太原地在那裡用等候不足一切代价令到大家在疫情期间我在這裡加插一下其實你說得很對 但我也看到一些情況出來加一個vaccine其實是一個很好的resolution 
。咁我早兩日睇到 CBC 咧，其實咧就即係出咗個 article， 好長聚嘅。咁我都有 post 喺個 group 度，大家 share。咁我有一個體會，佢就係講緊話，喂 ，vaccine 係咪一定 hundred percent？ 即係可以可以可以斷尾。咁同埋咧，就如果 vaccine 唔係 hundred percent 斷尾嗰陣時。因為佢嗰個 process， 佢嗰個佢嗰個 trigger， 我哋個佢用啲 mRNA， 唔係我哋正式我哋 naturally build 嘅 immune system。咁係咪如果我哋用我哋自然嘅抗體嚟揮呢個 herd immunity， 會係另外一個 option？ 咁所以呢個咧就整咗呢樣嘢出嚟，有 vaccine， 如果你驚嘅你打 vaccine， 唔驚嘅咧。你可以即係做，即係用自 boost 自己，又食多啲維他命 D 啊，做多啲運動啊，咁 boost 呢呢樣嘢。咁所以我諗緊國家，即係即係可能諗緊嘅 direction 咧，就話都係要可能高翻到阿 Ben Day One 講嘅，我哋要習慣 live with 呢呢一隻疫病，誒習習慣 live with 呢只 back 誒 virus， 係咪？咁所以喺咁嘅走道下，我覺得咧，如果疫病，再加埋呢個 herd immunity 嘅 understanding 咧，其實我哋可以咧就即係嚇，去到今年年尾，我覺得咧就應該可以咧就開始誒 recover 到 normal 噶啦。剛才咧，阿阿點解咧？係係阿阿 Ben 哥提過話誒，有 vaccine 咧就有啲曙光。其實咧喺過去嗰一嗰大半年或者一年咧，我哋都出現過幾次嘅曙光，但係咧發覺咧就。原來咧係好多咧係誒嗰啲誤判嘅，最簡單咧，譬如舊年誒二三月開始咁有呢個疫情，咁樣我哋咧就估計咧，去到五六月天氣暖嗰陣時咧，嗰啲誒病毒咧就會自動死亡啦。咁啊，後屘咧發覺咧原來唔得，咁而家咧啊，跟住咧第二波、第三波咁樣，我哋好好開心就等緊誒呢個咁樣嘅 vaccine 嘅出現咁。係唔係可以令到呢個病毒完全消失咧？其實咧，我哋今日咧去估計咧，就係、是、我哋希望可以，但係幾個月後咧，原來發覺咧，哎呀，原來都仲係有手尾嘅咁樣。呢、這、一個又係另一個誤判。但係咧，我喺呢度想講咧，就話咧，其實因為呢個病毒咧，最主要咧係一個即係以前未發生過嘅事嚟嘅。雖然我哋十七年前有個沙士，但係沙士幾個月之內咧就已經斷咗尾。今次呢、這個。誒、呃、病毒咧就誒係、呃、比較手尾長一啲，咁但係咧點解我哋加拿大各級政府誒、呃、都唔即係採取一個即係更嚴厲嘅手法去誒遏止個疫情咧？其實咧，你縱觀全世界啊，同埋咧誒加拿大都唔例外。其實如果假如咧係好嚴厲咁去封城或者係戒嚴咁樣，最主要嗰、那個嗰、那個誒、呃、後遺症咧，除咗個經濟實。大受影響之外咧，係會引起一個恐慌啊！呢樣嘢咧係冇一個政府咧係可以 afford 得到嘅。第二樣咧就係、是、加拿大人或者係或者講誒西方國家嘅人咧，對於戴唔戴口罩咧就已經咧可以拗一輪嘅，因為咧佢哋講佢哋嘅自由誒、呃、覺得咧呢個病毒唔係咁嚴重咁。如果咧某個政府，譬如聯邦政府又好，省政府又好。採取一個嚴厲嘅措施去封城或者去誒、呃、去戒嚴消戒咁咁咁咧，其實嗰個反彈力咧可能仲大。咁呢樣嘢咧係大家都唔敢去賭嘅。咁因此咧，我覺得咧就話咧，而家我睇到咧就係、是、加拿大係誒嗰個疫情係誒冇控制得到，同埋同埋咧嗰個數字都仲係誒相當高。但係唔係高度咧咁可怕，咁同埋咧，我覺得咧喺過去嗰誒大半年或者一年裏面咧，我哋加拿大各級政府咧，佢哋已經係盡咗佢哋嘅能力，佢哋認為咧，佢哋嘅方法已經係最好嘅，咁好唔好咧，就見仁見智啦。咁啊 ，Jeff 你點睇咧？聽完阿 Mary 嗰個講法，特別講到中小型企業對我哋加拿大咁重要，而且本身又係中小型企業個家庭出身嘅話咧。你點睇嗰啲番説話咧？嗱，我哋而家嗰個經濟個 economic policy 咧，其實係好視乎我哋個疫情。基本上我哋個 economic policy 就會 dictate 咗我哋個 vaccine 嗰個 policy。頭先我好留心咁聽阿 Mary 佢講幾句説話咧，就係、是、話加拿大嘅政府咧會盡一切嘅能力去令到加拿大可以 go through 去到抗爭到呢個疫情。咁
有好多唔同嘅 program 咧，個 purpose 咧，根據阿 Mary 話咧，就其實幫一個 small and medium business 嘅僱主咧，去唔好炒佢嗰啲員工，同埋希望幫佢交租，等嗰、那個即係、就是、個 business owner 可以捱到。咁我就睇翻我哋個 website 啦，呢度係其實加拿大自己嗰個 COVID-19 嗰個計劃。而家嗰個 Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy 雖然係政府俾七十五個 percent 去資助嘅人工啦，但係其實有二十五個 percent 係要我自己 as 一個 small and medium size 嘅 business owner 係要繼續去出人工。而呢個蘇花政府嘅 policy 咧就話呢個 program 可能係會去到三月十三號或者去到二零二一年嘅六月份。咁你同我大家都知道啦，頭先我哋討論過就係話個疫情其實而家有好多新嘅 virus strain 咧，尤其是日本忽然間話要 lock down 啦，跟住英國又再一輪個 lock down， 我哋自己加拿大灰省已經 lock down， 安省本身亦更加有一個 lock down。咁即係話，如果政府佢唔去 extend 呢啲 program 嗰個時間去。因為而家政府個 idea 通常都係話 Q1 或者 Q2 去到三月或者六月咧就應該搞掂曬。咁就係頭先我聽到你哋都提話，可能要去到二零二一年嘅年尾先至會真正呢個疫情係我哋即係某程度上個 vaccine 可以控制到。所以有啲 business owner， 我覺得就係話，不如如果嗰個租約差唔多完，或者唔係要賠咁多錢嘅，不如一次過逼咗佢就算啦。如果嗰啲雇員我啲 employee 係我要捱住俾住少少人工嘅，不如一次過炒曬佢哋算啦。因為就算個 vaccine 係真係成功，加拿大嘅經濟再重開，可能所謂 brick and mortar 唔會再開鋪頭，啲人中意去行街去零售業，可能轉咗網上。我反而炒曬我啲 employees 轉型係網上或者一啲新嘅方式去做生意嘅，反而呢個係二零二一年。嗰、那個經濟嘅發展，所以如果我係個 business owner， 我會考考慮，不如當嘢執咗佢，由頭再做過。而家政府個 program 係想我哋捱住先，跟住用翻舊嗰個方式去做生意。我相信呢個諗法應該完全係唔好再諗呢樣嘢啦。咁啊，阿 Jeff， 你講到點上我就話咧，其實商業本身要因為疫情真係轉型，而政府嘅資助只係最多到年中，而疫情又會越嚟越嚴重。睇嚟亦都唔會有短期改善，再加上有變種，而嗰個疫苗亦都唔係真係過接受到，而個成效亦都係存疑嘅話咧。換言之，政府原來定嗰套政策或者方針，係咪要跟住最新形形勢而作出調整咧？如果咁嘅時候，會唔會出現阿 Jeff 所講，要加強啲啊，加長啲啊，或者改變另一種方式去迎合而家目前嘅新形勢咧？對於 Jeff 提出呢幾點嘅話咧？其他三個點睇咧？其實都可能冇乜 choice 噶啦，啊，即係即係要睇到時睇下點樣樣。我覺得佢會盡量咧就開始令啲人瞭解到可能係即係要 live with 呢只 virus。咁然之後即係即係由個個別個 corporate 或者個別 business 點樣處理點樣，即係 deal with 一個全面嘅 open 啦嚇。同埋咧，我覺得咧，誒、呃，經過今次呢個 pandemic 咧，我哋應該有一個心態咧，就係、是、痛定思痛嘅。因為咧，今次呢個 pandemic 咧，其實唔係話全世界都受影響嘅喎，有啲行業咧，竟然喺呢個 pandemic 咧，係竟然賺多咗錢嘅，譬如啲高科技啊，咁即係大家睇到咧，誒、呃、有啲誒、呃、高科技嗰啲股票啊，可以升咗好多倍啊，咁咁換句説話講咧，就話咧，我哋應該咧就喺呢段時間咧，我哋應該深思一下咧，我哋加拿大嗰個走向誒、呃、應該點點樣去做？咁嗱。其實加拿大一路以嚟咧，都作為一個即係能源誒出口國家咁啊。嗱誒呢樣嘢咧，我哋食老本咧食咗好多年，但係咧其實喺某程度上咧，如果我哋唔利用呢一樣嘢作為一個平台，然之後咧去擴張我哋自己嗰、那個誒、呃、出口技術啊，其他啲嘢咧，我哋係好容易咧有朝一日咧，其實加拿大已經發生緊啦，就好似譬如嘅而家我哋嘅 Alberta 咁，因為咧石油價格一一一冧，佢成個經濟咧可以 ，Alberta 曾幾何時咧係加拿大嗰個經濟火車頭嚟嘅，有有好長時間啦。而家咧冧到咧係不得了，咁換咗所講咧喺 Alberta 咧已經即係失咗一個咁嘅契機。但係相反一樣嘢咧
，我哋又再睇遠少少咧，有好多石油出產國咧，佢哋除咗咧佢哋即係誒出出口石油之外咧，佢哋咧就利用咗一段時間咧，係發展其他啲誒誒項目嘅。最簡單就係、是、好似 Dubai， 佢將佢自己成個國家咧嗰、那個旅遊業咧做得非常之好。起到啲好靚嘅酒店，咁啊幾萬蚊住一晚。咁換句話講咧，就話當你有錢嗰時候，你唔諗定其他嗰啲情形咧，你到你經濟一唔好嗰時咧，你個打擊就特別大嘅。呢段時間係我哋經歷咗一個 pandemic， 我哋我哋大部分都好慘，尤其是我哋零售業。但係都係一個很好好嘅時機，俾我哋咧係反思一下，我哋將來嗰個走勢應該係點樣去做嘅。所以嗱，就係因正因為。幾位經濟咁有深度見識嘅人講完之後咧，我想就係補充句就係、是，我哋今時今日聯邦政府嘅國策咧，所以我正話點解問阿部長就係、是，我想佢有個答案俾我，但係佢俾唔到我答案，我我可以講出嚟。我覺得聯邦政府有少少誤導啊！咩叫誤導咧？就是、繼續支持一啲話俾你聽，你你聽你你你繼續捱落去咧，捱到嘅，終有出頭一日嘅。其實。我啲生意好有可能係唔應該再捱落去。我喺好多好多期唔同嘅節目都講咗，做生意唔好因為有人同你出緊糧，有人同你交租，你就繼續捱落去。因為今時今日有好多啲生意其實，如果冇疫情，佢都可能已經不存在。咁啱咁巧有疫情，政府同佢交租，同佢出埋糧，佢夾硬做喺度捱落去，而將政府嘅資源咧擺咗落嗰啲夕陽嘅行業入邊，反而有啲新開發嘅。高科技嘅企業，因為佢冇舊嘅生意去比較，佢零零九年佢零營業額係零，二零二零年營業額都係零，佢冇質佢冇跌過營業額，所以佢攞唔到任何政府資助嘅。而呢啲先係真真正正我哋嘅明日之星嘅經濟，我哋幾千億抌落去嗰啲死亡嘅生意入邊，而嗰啲活生生有機會帶領加拿大跳出谷底嘅生意，政府一分錢都資助唔到佢哋嘅，因為佢哋冇得比較過去嘅失落。咁呢啲咁嘅比較係咪喺初期係適合？到而家二零一年過咗去啦，我哋仲要用翻咁嘅舊嘅方法去救呢班夕陽嘅工業咧？我所以呢、這個我有定好大嘅問號喺度而家。係啊，你對於嗰、那個我哋嘅經濟轉型行業轉型點睇咧？就話阿、啊、丁哥又好，何燕又好，或者係 Jeff 都講咗數據，點樣睇我哋未來嘅經濟走向或者轉向係咪需要？疫情俾咗啲啟發，我哋從啲啟發入邊咧，從而摸索個新嘅出路出嚟咧。嗱，某個程度上咧，我即係誒都同意阿阿 Ben 哥講嘅，即係有啲夕陽工業啊咁樣誒、呃、某。某個程度上，我哋都都唔應該去，即係點樣去誒、呃、落落落落誒誒力去教嘅。但係咧，今次呢個疫情咧，係誒、呃、有好多行業咧最受影響嘅咧，係唔可以冇嘅喎。嗱，譬如最簡單就係嗰個零售業啦，嗰、那個航空業啊、旅遊業啊，呢啲咧係。任何時間都要存在嘅，咁換咗所講咧，我哋唔救佢哋咧，我哋就會令到好多人失業嘅。另一方面咧，其實咧，我哋嘅聯邦政府咧，係一路以嚟咧都不停咁樣去誒推廣一個誒 green tech、green economy， 就係一個綠色經濟、綠誒、呃、綠色工業。咁其實呢一個咧係一個新嘅誒領域嚟嘅喎。嗱，加拿大咧喺喺國際上面嚟講咧，佢誒雖然咧係誒 G7 人係七大工業國家，但係其實咧佢唔係 number one 嚟嘅。換咗所講咧，佢進步嘅空間咧係仍然好多好多嘅。咁因此咧，我覺得咧，其實咧，正如我剛才講咧，就話我哋而家痛定思痛，應該諗一諗咧，加拿大應該喺邊啲地方度咧係誒發展多啲。除咗剛才我提過嗰一個誒 green technology 之外咧，其實有啲行業咧。喺全世界唔係好多人去誒、呃、做得很好好嘅，例如咧 FinTech 啦，唔係咁好咁咁多人啊做緊啦，誒、呃、AI 啦 ，Blockchain 啦，呢啲咁嘅嘢咧，其實加拿大咧係有機會可以可以誒咩嘅喎，跑出嚟做做好啲嘅喎。另外一樣嘢咧，加拿大咧其實咧已經有一個誒、呃、base 喺度嘅，就係、是、一個一個航空同埋一個飛機業啊。大家知道咧，我哋加拿大嗰個飛機公司 Bombardier 咧，全個全世界第四大嘅，但係佢距離咧全世界第一、第二、第三咧係好遠嘅。咁某程度上咧，我覺得咧，我哋可以喺呢啲
現成嘅工業嗰度，我哋應該去加強，令到佢發展得好啲。喺啲新興嘅行業，我哋應該咧係即係攞翻一席位。當人人都一一齊競爭嗰時咧，我哋加拿大咧其實人才喺度嘅，我哋係大條道理可以誒、呃、發展到嘅。咁再加上而家咧，全世界嗰個秩序咧又開始大洗牌啊。咁因此有好多新興嘅市場咧，都其實等緊我哋加拿大去開發嘅咯。例如嗱，譬如英國脱歐咁樣，英國一定要周圍咁樣去揾誒、呃、商業夥伴啊，咁咁樣啦。另外，其實歐盟咧都係一個。一個很好好嘅市場嚟嘅，因為咧，大家睇到一樣嘢咧，就係、是、加拿大過去咧嗰、那個經濟主要嗰個夥伴咧，就係、是、美國，哇，百分之七十五，百分之八十。其實咧呢這樣嘢咧，你話錯又得，你話啱又得，因為咧某個程度上咧，美國真係咧同加拿大咧有好多地方咧嗰、那個價值觀啊，同埋誒嗰個誒、呃、貿易方面咧都啊好好接近嘅。但係咧，我哋睇到美國而家咧喺或者喺過去咧，都對佢一啲貿易夥伴咧，佢做一啲行為咧，係去整冧人嘅。嗱，過去咧，我哋睇到咧就係佢對法國做過呢咁嘅嘢，對日本做過啲嘢，而家對中國又係做緊呢啲打打擊人哋嘅嘅嘢。有朝一日咧，美國同埋加拿大嗰、那個誒、呃、貿易嗰個順差逆差咧。好難擔保咧，就係、是、咧，我哋唔會面對一個咁嘅情況嘅。咁因此咧，我都覺得咧，就話咧喺市場方面咧，我哋加拿大咧係應該諗一諗咧。當然美國嘅市場我哋仍然要要繼續，但係咧要啊啊、呃呃、要部署一下將來嗰個發展，要開擴我哋嗰個市場。誒、呃，我呢度想補充下，咁就其實即係講話即係新經濟咧。最主要係即係 learn 嗰啲 acquire 嗰啲新嘢啦，係咪？咁所以其實抌錢落個 university 好緊要嘅。咁所以即係誒，同埋咧就即係誒誒，即係有個即係好似杜魯多政府佢做咗兩樣嘢，我覺得幾好嘅。咁佢咧就就整咗兩個 ministry， 一個 ministry 咧就係專門咧就做 innovation 嘅，即係意思話專門開發一啲新嘅科技領域啊。啊，唔理 biotech 啊，甚至乎 high tech 嘅，咁都有好多唔同嘅領域。另外一個咧就專門咧就係 commercialisation of 嗰啲即係誒嘅 innovation 嘅。咁呢個係做得相當好嘅。佢就一誒誒開誒上場嗰陣時，即係誒大約五年前啦。咁亦都係抌好多錢落嗰個大學嗰啲網絡、嗰啲 network 誒 internet 嗰啲 network 嗰啲 infrastructure， 同埋咧抌咗啲錢咧。希望喺個大學裏面咧，令到一啲即係新嘅 project 咧就可以咧就係即係 kick off 到 kick off the ground 咁樣。咁喺嗰方面咧，佢做咗啲嘢。咁啊有幾多成果就即係誒加不得而知啦。咁但係據我理解咧 ，AI 嗰方面 Toronto 好似有一個咧就出咗位，佢做咗個 AI 嘅 robot 咧，有個有個 billion neuron， 即係佢話用 billion neuron 咁嘅程式咧，即係即係。愛嚟做呢個 AI 嘅 application 嘅，咁如果呢個 kick off 咗咧，會將會係另外一個 trend 嘅。咁但係即係我哋即係當然我同嘢一輪講嘅，其實加拿大咧六十個 percent 咧係即係係 post secondary 嘅，咁所以其實我哋係有好有條件嘅。咁過去我哋都喺多領域嗰度係 lead 到嗰、那個個誒一啲一啲 product 啊，我哋唔係全面 take over 某啲嘢，但係即係某一啲 lead 我哋係可以做到嘅。咁其實加時間差唔多，不如我哋停一停，去一去講講，轉頭翻嚟好唔好啊？